A comfortable ride into work this morning, Jeff, but the triple digits do not want to let this summer go. Uh, no, absolutely mm -hmm. not. And today probably going to be the hottest day that we have seen since about early August, mid 70s for the morning rush, but 105 your drive home temperature too shy of tying the record set back in 2000 and a bit of a breeze out there this afternoon around 5 to 15 miles per hour prevailing out of the east northeast daytime highs in the 101 to 106 range across Metro Tucson a remarkably hot day for mid September standards under mostly sunny skies daytime highs roughly 10 degrees above average for this time of year ranging from the low 90s in Bisbee to 107 out west in Ajo. High pressure parked near El Paso, cranking up the heat. Winds aloft still coming out of the southwest. A dry flow, no storms in the forecast. And chances are the triple digit streak, which is now up to seven days, counting this afternoon, may extend to 11 days. That'd be Tuesday of next week. And that would match the second longest September 100 streak on record for Tucson, matching the stretch back in 1979. Again, 100s this time of year, not out of the ordinary. It's the duration of this heat that is so very rare even for the Sonoran Desert. A faint glimmer of monsoon hope as we're heading toward the middle to latter portion of next week. Models hinting winds aloft shifting from the southwest to the southeast, pumping in some moisture from Mexico. I think by Wednesday we could see a couple of isolated storms here in Metro Tucson that may continue into Thursday as well. That rain chance though at 20%, probably a better chance of scattered storms into the mountains and areas along the international border mid to late next week. With that moisture increasing, temperatures start to drop low to mid 90s in the forecast Wednesday and Thursday. Until then, we're into the 100s with plenty of sunshine and near overnight lows the next several nights bottoming out in the low to mid 70s.